These crispy prawn parcels are stuffed with spicy harissa, zingy lemon and eggs. Normally, you'd make a brick with brick pastry, and they call this pastry malsuka. It means to stick. Now, that dough to do at home, I think, is really tricky. But this little pastry, I think you're going to love. It's a very good little hack. So 250 grams of strong flour, a nice pinch of salt, and then I've got about 150 millilitres of hot water. The hot water changes the flour, and it allows you to have this incredibly bendy pastry which is perfect for going really thin and really crisp. So just bring it around the bowl like this. And as soon as the fork is finding it a little hard, then we'll bring in our hands. Just do it for a couple of minutes, just to kind of get that gluten sort of texture going. And then have a little look at that. That is our dough. It is that simple. I'm going to just add a little bit of oil to the surface here all over like that, and then rub the dough with the oil as well. I'll put a little cloth on top. We'll let it rest just for 15 minutes. Perfect time to crack on with the filling for my mini pastry parcels. Two eggs go into a bowl, and then I'm going to whisk those up with a little pinch of salt, pepper, I've got some fresh prawns that are peeled and some with their shell on, but you can use frozen ones if you prefer. I'm going to take the peeled prawns, slice up like this, so there's some nice little chunks, right, about half of it. And then this part here, I'm just going to keep chopping to make almost like a very coarse mousse. And that with the eggs is going to be the basis of our filling. Now, the great thing about these bricks is you can look at this recipe and you can make it your own. You can have leftover roast chicken. You know, you can use it to carry any flavours that you've got in your fridge. A flavour that I love is lemon, right? We take a little bit of this zest, the flavour, the freshness is in there. And I'm going to use the lemon for added flavour later. The harissa here, I want to do a little tweak. I'm going to put some oil in. And if I just mix it up like that, you get this incredible ruby red oil. Maximum flavour, minimum effort. That'll be a super easy, drizzly sauce for my crispy parcels. Let's get to the dough. Push it down like this. Try and be even. Use the palms of your hands. Then we're going to pick it up and just let gravity do all the hard work, right? Can you see how I can almost stick it there and it doesn't move back? Joy. Cut them roughly into five or six inch squares. We're going to get our harissa here, here, and here. Put in the lovely prawn and egg. Look at that. And here's the fun bit. So look, just take the pastry and gently pull it over like a little Christmas present. Beautiful. Let's have some olive oil into a pan, just above medium heat. So just place them in the pan like that. And for extra flavour, I want to serve mine up with some whole prawns too, just to make it exciting and gorgeous. Look at it sizzling away. The great thing about this recipe is the pastry cooks quickly, the prawns and eggs cook quickly, all at the same time. So about two, two and a half minutes on each side. So in no time at all, these are done. Look how sizzling these are. Golden and delicious. And then last but not least, I want to take some of that harissa oil and just pour that over the top. Look at the colour. We can finish it with a nice little bit of lemon juice. And if you've got any herbs, you know, just take, you know, some basil, some parsley, anything delicate. Beautiful. It's my little take on a brick, all in that lovely little homemade pastry that I know you could do. Right. Wow. Sweet, delicious, elegant, punch of fire. Spices, lovely big chunks of prawn in there. Look at that. Harissa, flecks of lemon. The pastry is crispy, really crispy. Beautiful little mouthful. I love it. Guys, what are you waiting for? Get a little bit of Tunisian street food into your life. You will not regret it.